So what do you think this means? Uh, how do you think this all changed the way we see the global warming of today? Well, I think, I, I think uh, a truth of the matter is, you know, it's not really going to change scientists' perspective because there's a pretty overwhelming consensus already. I mean, probably for the last 10 years, there's been a really strong consensus among scientists that, that CO2 is causing global warming today. So, but obviously when you look out in the public, that's not quite the case, right? Every other person you meet says, eh, man, is that, you know, bull crap? What's the story of this global warming idea? Right. Um, so, I think as far as the, you know, the actual science on the, on the matter, um, we've already got a lot of strong pieces of evidence that CO2 is causing global warming today. And I think this is just kind of one more, you know, one more additional piece that goes on that pile that says, um, yep, you know, like we thought for a bunch of different reasons, um, CO2 causes global warming. Um, and I think the real take-home message from this is it provides you with a really tangible example of, of what it means for CO2 to cause warming. I mean, you tell somebody, you know, you sit on the bus and you tell somebody, yeah, CO2 is causing global warming, and it just sounds like this kind of like abstract concept. It's like, okay, well, I guess so. Okay, and it's not like a big deal, right? But um, you tell somebody that, you know, CO2 can end an ice age, and you get a sense for what that means, how powerful that is. Obviously, if you have an ice age end, then that's, that's a huge difference for the planet. It's a huge difference for sea level, for rainfall patterns, for temperature, for you know, all sorts of things that actually matter to, to us, to society, to farming, to, to, lots, of different, to lots of different things. Um, so the key thing to realize with this is that the, the amount of CO2 rose at the end of the ice age was about 100 parts per million, which sounds small, 100 parts per million, but it was apparently enough to really help drive the end of an ice age. So it's a huge effect. And today, we've actually already taken CO2 up another 100 parts per million. So we've done just as much. And in the century, we're looking to go up. We keep going on as we are. I mean, probably several hundred more. So 100 parts per million to end an ice age. And we're talking about people bringing it up many hundreds more, so many times more. Um, so I, I think the take-home message of that one would be, this is not small potatoes, what we're talking about here, what we're doing um, with CO2. This is like, you know, this is big stuff, big changes. Wow, uh, it really seems like it's a strong message. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's how I take it. It's sort of a, just a sobering. You look at it, it's like you stop for a minute, pull back, and think, what does it actually mean for being? It's like, holy shit, yeah, geez, that is really, you know, sobering.